right, so this is the block that we made using our pre-cuts. This is a 5-inch square pre-cuts. And I made this square out of some, just some old fabric I had laying around. I cut them into 4.5-inch squares. And hopefully you've got a nice stack of 9 patches like this one. This is where I went through my fabric and got all kinds of blues. And I just made me up a bunch of nine patches, and I'm going to show you what to do now with your nine patches. Okay, I'm going to try to remember that, remember, you're beginners, you don't have all the equipment. So, I'll show you the basic beginner's method, and then I'll kind of show you what, you know, little other things that you can do to add on to it. So, hang tight, I'll be right back. So you have got your quilt block. You've got a nice little stack of them ready to be quilted. So then you need to go and get some batting. Okay? And Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, there's any number of places. Um, high loft is going to be thicker. I'm going to recommend, especially for beginners, you want to get a low loft. This is actually a number one low loft that I got from Joann's. And you're going to put your square on top of your batting. And then you're going to put all of that on top of a piece of muslin. Okay? So let's do that, and I'll meet you at the sewing machine. And just so you know, this is what your batting could, could look like. Sometimes it's in a flat square. You can buy it yard by yard, or you can buy it prepackaged. Um, like I said, this is a low, a one, so it is a low loft up to three sixteenths of an inch. So that's not going to be much at all. And that's all right. Sometimes you don't want a lot. So we've got our little, what we call a sandwich. Our quilt sandwich. Now let's feed it to our sewing machine. I really like this method <clears throat> for quilting it. Again, because I get tired, and sometimes having the full-length quilt can be really cumbersome and uh, can just really wear you out. So I, uh, I kind of like this method, but there are some designs I won't work with, but it will work with this one. So you've got your sandwich, you've got your top, your batting, and your muslin. And then we are just going to go in the center. We're going to stitch in the ditch. And you could do a zigzag. Let's see. You could do just a regular stitch. You could do a zigzag. You could do a decorative stitch. But I think we're going to just stick with the straight stitch down the center. And your seam here, this is what we would call the ditch. And that is going to be your guide. And you are going to aim this seam to the middle of your basic foot. Okay. So here we go. Normally with quilting, you're going to want to use a quilting foot. But again, I'm pretending you guys don't have any special feet. Let's just keep it... Simple, no extra financial outlay. I hate it when you're wanting to learn something and then you spend all this money on the equipment and the supplies just to find out you really didn't care for it. So we've got this inside right here. So let's go to this side. And we are just going to kind of fold this up out of the way, make sure everything is nice and smooth. And starting at the very edge, let's sew our stitch in the ditch from edge to edge.
And you can do, you know, different colors for your thread and your bobbin. I'm kind of wanting to just use white. So it'll be easier for you to see how it's done. And also, that if you see me make a mistake, you go, hey, it's okay. It's all right if it slips a little. It's okay. You'll learn by doing. And trust me, the more mistakes you make, the better you'll learn it. All right, so we've got the one side done. Now let's turn it to this side, and let's do these sides. Let's do these seams. And I don't know if, there, if, if this is the correct term, but I call this quilting as you go. And I'm not sure if that's really the correct term for it or not, but I like it. I'm trying to go in the same direction for both sides. It just seems to do better, I think. It keeps everything smoother. Starting at the end. the zigzag or decorative stitch because then it can you can go oh I meant for it to do that if you're zigzagging it and you have quilted down your first quilt block there we go we'll trim it using your scissors or a rotary cutter so there it's all nice and even on all sides all right so why don't you go to your sewing machine and make you up oh three, four of these, and then I'll show you what to do next. See you next time.